Hello there, my name is Jack and I'm an engineer here at Draytech. And today I would like to talk to you about load balancing and failover. So this is a 2860 series of Rusa, and you can see on the front here we have uh, a number of different WAN connections. You've got the USB for 3G and 4G connections, an ADSL and VDSL auto sensing uh, modem, and then an Ethernet based WAN connection as well. Now, what this allows you to do is, through a single device, have multiple lines or internet connections coming into your network. And it allows you to do a number of different things, the first of which is load balancing. So with load balancing, what happens is the router will detect the line speed, or you can set it manually, and basically it will then split the number of outgoing sessions uh, from your network between the available WAN connections based upon their speed. So by that, I mean that if WAN 1 is twice as fast as WAN 2, then two connections will be sent down it for every one that is sent down the other. And this allows you to spread the load across the lines that you have available. Now the second feature uh, that this also enables is the failover. Now failover is a very powerful and much desired feature on our products, so it's something that comes up a lot, so I'll just go into a little bit of detail about it. Now, in a typical example, you might have a single line uh, coming into a building, be it uh, FTTC connection or a simple ADSL, and that would come into your modem here. Now, you might use this as your primary, uh, you know, kind of business use internet connection. What you then have available is a number of different ways of backing that up, so that if it should ever go down or run into any problems, you're still going to have business continuity. You're still going to be able to get out to the internet. People are still going to be able to access your services. Um, all of that good stuff, basically. So. The most common way of doing that would be to use the USB slots and have either a 3G or 4G connection uh, plugged into it, a little dongle or something that comes out here. Now, what happens is, if the router detects that the primary WAN connection, your DSL modem, should ever go down, it will actually automatically start up the 3G or 4G, start sending data down it, and help in your recovery, basically. Now, it will only ever use those connections when it needs to. So you never have to worry about any kind of keep alive messages going out over your 3G or any data charges that might be associated with that. So that's load balancing and failover in a nutshell. If you'd like to find out more about that, then again, please do go to the draytech.co.uk website, check it out, get in contact with us if you have any questions. Thanks very much.